Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your unexpected reading for January 2019. Hello, that one flew out. Nine of Swords. All right, something heavily on your mind perhaps. <laughs> um, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. So this is for Sagittarius. Hello, that one fell out. All right, so we got two of Swords, three of Swords, and the Lovers. Okay, so wanting to make a decision after a broken heart involving a connected, committed relationship. It's really keeping you up at night. Yikes. All right. Sagittarius, I think you've been kind of going through it, too. You've been, been going through it. The hanged man, or hanging man. This could be Pisces you're dealing with. <clears throat> this is about surrendering and letting whatever's going to happen, happen. Um, you might not like having to do that, but there's literally nothing else that could be done or to be done, and you just have to wait. And for a lot of people, that's maddening. <laughs> um, so this is about basically letting things go, whether you want to or not. Okay. Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups, Justice. All right. Five of Coins, Three of Cups, The Sun. Yay for the Sun. Could be Leo. The World. This could be Libra. And the Moon. Could be Pisces or Cancer again. So we got Pisces twice here, just saying. All right. I got these, I pulled the court cards from this deck and, um, okay, <laughs> that was rude. Uh, and I will be pulling a court card from this. For Sagittarius. Knight of Swords, okay. And I'm gonna clarify with these. All right, so. Um, the issue right now is the right thing being done. Someone may be coming back to say they're sorry, to apologize, to atone. The scales need to be balanced, right? And <clears throat> the backstory is um, that there was, sorry, uh, the backstory is maybe somebody had a breakthrough. There was an honest discussion that could have led to a breakup. There's just being able to finally understand something. There's clarity. Um, it could be that, <clears throat> excuse me, there's been a cutting off of communication with someone and it happened rather quickly. It was, it's almost like there's no going back for this person. It just, they want forward movement and they want it now. And this was an emotional issue and it was probably very painful and hard for them to do, but it was the right thing to do. Um, it's just to walk away and to cut things off. Okay. So they felt like maybe the right thing is done, even though it's a difficult issue so the thing is, you went ahead and did this, but emotionally you feel bereft. You just feel like you're set adrift, that you're just, um, you're down and out. You feel just cut off and numb and disconnected. And it's probably left you feeling really, you know, unstable or insecure about your options for the future. This could be that things ended and you walked away and now you're feeling that lack of security and comfort material financially also. However, <clears throat> this same person is going to show back up, perhaps, because we got the Knight of Swords here twice. So perhaps this same person is going to show back up, Sag, and they're going to want to, they're basically going to do something that makes you happy again. So is it like, oh, hey, let's get back together. Let's reunite. Let's, let's you know, let's, let's work on this, work on getting back together. Okay. Uh, this would suggest that it's, this is the yes card. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is about success, abundance, things coming to fruition. Anything you want to happen, this shines a direct light on it and, and allows it to flourish. But this could be a different person. And I kind of hope it is because this one broke your heart. Just saying. Um, and maybe this, maybe what this is saying is that this person does come back and say they're sorry because you're just like, oh my God, maybe this is you apologizing because you feel a real loss that you did something horrible um, and you had to walk away out of guilt, 
Okay, it could be that the other person walked away and you want to make it right and you're coming back to say you're sorry and <clears throat> let's get back together. Let's, you know, get engaged. I want to work this out. Let's commit. And this is saying, okay, yay, happy. Again, could be a different person also. This is general, so there's a lot of um, variations of the same theme. The thing is, though, and that, I just... Hold on a minute. That was just rude. They kind of flew out of my hand there. All right. Um, mm. This could be either you finding your person, the culmination of like basically this had to happen to bring you two back together. And now you both know that you belong together. So this is achievement. Like you worked it out and you're going to achieve. This would suggest yes, because this is the happy card and this is achievement, right? This could also be ending. <clears throat> so the thing is, is that there the future is uncertain because we have this this is this is things being done um, not in the dark but there is confusion about what is going on <clears throat> so this could be pardon me this could be um there's this painful breakup it happens quickly you realize you've had this breakthrough or mental breakthrough you realize you know what i gotta just end it i gotta cut it off it's painful but it's the right thing to do and you're really feeling the the loss of it this is that, what am I going to do now? Um, will I ever be okay again? That sort of thing. And then maybe this same person, maybe not, could be a different person, but somebody comes rushing back in and this is, it's almost like this happened privately too. Like not a lot of people know about it. Okay. So they come back in and then it's publicly announced perhaps that, you know, we're going to get engaged or we're working things out. Things are going to be better this time around, even though they might not have known you broke up but maybe everybody knew you're having problems. Um, and there's a lot of discussion and conversation. Light is shed on issues, perhaps a really encouraging time. It seems like everything's going to work out. seems like everything's going to work out, but this is probably you with your Pisces Sagittarius wondering if in fact it is going to work out or <clears throat> excuse me, there being anxiety and confusion and just worry about the future. I mean, See what this is here. Sag. Sag. Oh, you can't see me shuffling. Sorry. Sag. Sag. Wondering if you're going to be able to work together for that longevity, that happily ever after that you want, the stability that you want. This is not a stable energy. Okay. Very enigmatic or, or at least very charming, very um, just... I don't want to say riveting, but somebody that can really sway you mentally. <clears throat> they can make, make you feel like you're on cloud nine, make you very happy. And they, they can take you high and they can take you low. Okay. High, low, right? So while you're happy that they came back and it's like, yes, okay. All right. <laughs> there's still this worry because you're worried about the security and longevity of the relationship. And if you two can work together. Maybe you're worried that they met somebody at work and that's why there was this breakup because they had cheated and do you know what I mean? So there's a couple of scenarios here, but this is about you trying to be okay with the future, trying to be okay with it. Yay, this is what you wanted, but then is it because now you've got more to worry about type of thing. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. All right. For Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need now? I'm going to pull three cards here. What does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius. For the month of January, what does Sagittarius need to know about this situation? Sagittarius. Uh-huh. Okay. This is that, there's that inexplainable attraction, but it's often not sustainable. Okay. And that's, I think you're picking up on that, Sag. I think that's what you're like. Okay, I got what I wanted. Yay. This is making me happy, but is it going to work out? Is it going to be the stability that I need? And I'm not talking monetarily or financially. I'm not talking about, okay, am I going to have a lifestyle? Anything like that. This is about, is, are we going to be here again in two months? <clears throat> this is a very, um, somebody that doesn't really put a lot of emotional stock in what they do or how they act. So when you broke up with them, it might, well, it might've been very um, abrupt and painful for you, this person, probably solitary, comes and goes as they please. They make decisions on the fly. They act on the fly. They're, they might be private, um, very solitary. Could be 
things, the decisions that they make and they, that they act on are often in the moment. And then they ask questions later. They tell people about it later. So this is probably a private battle that's been going on between you two that you don't really, your friends don't really know about for whatever reason though, it seems like this kind of made it public. Um, this, and maybe just consider that maybe you did that to hold the other person accountable. Like, okay, you know, if we're getting back together, then I want to take it to the next level. And we're going to tell our friends about it. So in a, in a way, it's almost like you're trying to kind of, I don't want to say trap that person, but like, okay, now everybody knows. So, you know, you can't be so in and out like you always are. Just saying. It may or may not resonate. Just saying. It happens, though. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Go outside. All right, that would suggest that you have been dealing with this back and forth, back and forth, and you need to get some distance from it emotionally and mentally. So this is about you. You've been indoors, a.k.a. you've been thinking about this, thinking about this, thinking about this for quite some time. And you need to go outside, be with your friends, um, get some distance from this issue so that you can figure out what you really want. Because right now you're just kind of this this it's confusing um here's another twist could be this person comes rushing back in and makes everything better and yay it's going to work out we got what i wanted and it's with a pisces or a cancer and you've got the stability and the longevity and working things out that you wanted it could be as simple as that but this also means an unclear um not being clear about your options or not liking your options confusion about the future anxiety about the future could be that you're anxious about your Pisces or Cancer and, and the longevity and stability of the relationship. Okay, it's very nuanced and varied because this is general. What does Sagittarius need to know about this? Sagittarius. Craig Wait, Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius. That one. Okay. That one. Harmony through, creating harmony through balance. That, um, I think that's what this is right here, is that to get to, to figure out the key, not the key, but to figure out how to make this work or to get some clarity on it, okay, um, this is about kind of getting some emotional distance on it and, and probably the key to it working with you and this person, especially if you're of a more emotional nature and a receptive nature, this one's a very assertive, solitary, think first, ask questions and feel later person. Um, the key to balance is like, you're going to have to have a come to Jesus and work some stuff out here. Like, look, this is your temperament. This is the way you do things. This is what I need. I get that this is what you need, but we need to figure something out because the only way this is going to work is if we have balance. And this right here, same thing. Both of these cards speak to their needing to be a balance instead of things just being one way. And it could be too that um, you find yourself doing a lot of the heavy lifting emotionally in the relationship because this person is more much more cerebral and they react instead of create and they're instead of being receptive they're much more charging ahead and and enacting and like I've got to go off and do this and you're like okay well I'll just kind of hold everything down here and I'll I'll see you when you get back thanks do you know what I mean so okay all right Sag <clears throat> lots to think about I hope this was helpful and I was wrong oh my gosh can you even hear me Sorry, right, you're all the way over here, <clears throat> which is a good thing because I just had to clear my throat. Sorry. Right. Um, I am going to be um, doing this again. So when I said for January, this is actually to January 10th, and then there'll be another one. Okay, so I hope I didn't just completely screw up this whole reading by um, having the mic over there because this actually is a really good reading. Okay, um, I, I hope this <laughs> hope this reading stays, and I hope this was helpful, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.